They say laughter is the best medicine, and our next guest, Danny, is making it her mission to use it to help Alzheimer's patients. The hardest part of witnessing my mother going through this decline is that she still looks like my mother, and when I look in her eyes, I know it's my mother. Um, my mother is 87. She was diagnosed with Alzheimer's dementia seven years ago. She had formerly been a very high functioning executive and now it was clear that she needed help. Once I brought my mother here from New York to California and she realized she wasn't leaving, she became depressed and sad. So I wanted to do something for her and I had it in my head, oh, I, I should hire a comedian to cheer her up. So I created Laughter on Call. Laughter on Call is a company that brings comedians to Alzheimer's patients. Even though people with Alzheimer's can't talk and express themselves in the way that's familiar, you can share laughter with them and then you have a connection. Michael is one of the comedians that visits with my mother regularly. It's really a beautiful relationship and he makes her laugh and sometimes just what they do is hold hands and they sit together and he gives her some ice cream. Oh, <laughs> it became clear that um, this was changing my mother's life. When I come to see Muriel, a big smile lights up on her face, the hand reaches out, it's awesome. Being that Muriel's going through something so extreme, for me, getting that smile, getting that laugh, it makes it so worth it for me. <laughs> if it weren't for laughter, I do not think my mother would be alive. She's this beautiful person. And I don't know that enough people see it now because they're too afraid to come. And that, that makes me cry. That makes me cry. That makes me cry. So that's my gift to her, is I bring people to her. In this case, 100% laughter is medicine. <laughs> Both Danny and Michael join us, as well as Sherry Snelling. Danny, I congratulate you for doing exactly what we talked about in the first segment, which is meeting your mother where she's at, and you're breaking down some stigmas in doing so. And was that your goal when you started this, this concept? Oh, yeah. I mean, initially, it was just to make my mother laugh. I'm not going to be grandiose. That's what it really was, to Mission make her laugh. Mission succeeded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And once I saw the effect that it had on her, I thought, wow, this is amazing. This has to reach more people because the numbers are growing exponentially. And there's so many studies that show that laughter and humor really do improve quality of life and especially reduce anxiety in dementia patients. So, but I couldn't help but notice that all three of you teared up. I mean, that was such a lovely video and it, and it just showed that fundamentally she's still- Exactly. She, you know, she's still there. And, and I think that's what people don't understand. I actually hear this from very well-educated people. Well, I thought she's like a zombie. I thought they're gone. They're in there and they need to feel seen and heard and holding their hand and finding one funny thing. Like we are totally willing to make funny faces and you know, well, Whatever. I was looking at the clip, Michael, <laughs> when you two are interacting, mm -hmm. what's that like for you? Honestly, I get so much out of it. I truly believe that in times of darkness, that laughter is the light, that it brings us to a, a better place. I've seen it. I have felt it myself. Doing this <laughs> has made me a better person. Oh. I am. Well, Danny, you know, you, you were so you're so right on with your observations, Danny. I'm thinking back with my mother, and uh, I'm sitting here kind of feeling guilty, like I should have gone more. I could have been there more. You know, my kids, my kids kind of they were younger then, and they well, you know, she she tunes out. I don't think she recognizes us when we mm. talk to her about events and things. I don't think she gets it, and. I mean, although all those things may be true, I, I think we, we missed something there that she, she was probably getting more out of it than we ever imagined. And I mean, it's, it's work, but that being said, you should not give up trying. Mm -mm.